Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. This week, a new paper was released in the journal Antiquity concerning the ancient Maya city of Tikal, located in northern Guatemala. LiDAR scanning technology has revealed the presence of a number of previously undiscovered ruins dating back to the early 1st millennium AD. And, as I'll explain, this is one of the most interesting and exciting finds I've come across in a long time. Today, the buildings discovered are buried in overgrowth, and even though the area of Tikal has been heavily explored for six decades, the ruins are still extremely hard to find on the ground. As many of you will already know, LiDAR is game-changing technology, helping archaeologists to see through the dense forests of Central and South America, and map the contours of the ground surface, showing clearly the natural features like hills, but also identifying anomalies with more regular features that can only be the work of human hands. Experts use LiDAR to map a set of hills located next to the Tikal city centre and results have now proved that these hills are actually man-made mounds and that buildings are buried beneath them. After reviewing the results, archaeologists have now gone into the field and confirmed the existence of the buried structures, but they also discovered something very unusual and also completely unique. It appears the buildings had been modelled after the important citadel of Teotihuacan, the most populated and powerful city-state in Mesoamerica in the first millennium AD. It appears that natural hills were modified by human hands to model the shape of the citadel, the area that is thought to be the imperial palace of Teotihuacan. Incredibly, it's a small-scale replica. At this stage, we don't know why it was built but, at the very least, it shows some level of interaction between Tikal and Teotihuacan, far more so than previously believed. During its heyday, Teotihuacan was the most populated city in Mesoamerica, with more than 125,000 inhabitants, but the settlement is still somewhat of a mystery. We don't know a great deal about the people that lived there, we don't know who founded it, but we know the population was diverse, containing a number of different ethnic groups. It did have trading relations with Maya settlements to the south and east, and it did have a relationship of sorts with Tikal, where trade and culture were exchanged. But now it appears that Teotihuacan actually had a stronger influence on Tikal, it's like a small-scale home away from home, as shown by the associated archaeological finds that are not Tikal in style, but are clearly modelled after Teotihuacan. It appears that the people that lived at this place did not assimilate with the people of the city, but they lived very much a separate life. It was most likely built for the people of Teotihuacan or for those under their control. Maybe it was comparable to a modern embassy on foreign soil, or maybe it was actually a sign of strength and power over the people of Tikal, occupation of their lands, and also for surveillance. The buildings at the newly discovered site are made from mud plaster and not limestone, but included complete and accurate recreations of the buildings of Teotihuacan, featuring specific angular measurements, with buildings being oriented to match the citadel precisely. The builders used techniques and technology that were not local to Tikal, showing that either outsiders built it, or that the people of Tikal were told to build in a way they were not accustomed to. The experts believe that evidence shows the outsiders from Teotihuacan actually moved into Tikal quite aggressively. There was also evidence of fighting, with a mix of traditional Maya projectiles, those made from flint, and Teotihuacan points that were made of green obsidian, and these were found together in one residential complex located next to the site under investigation. The find suggests there was a battle between the indigenous people of Tikal and the outsiders. Archaeologists also found signs of possible human sacrifice. There was a body surrounded by ceramic vessels, animal bones, projectile points and other personal items. Charcoal showed that the grave and its contents had been set on fire, possibly whilst the person was still alive. 
This matches burial sites that are found near Teatawa Khan, where warriors had been sacrificed. These are fragments of Teatawa Khan style incense burners, also found in the small scale replica citadel. In 378 AD, forces originating from the city of Teatawa Khan finally overthrew Tikal. But this was not an order by the rulers of Teatawa Khan, but a group of exiled warriors carried out the invasion by themselves. Experts always pondered the random nature of the attack, but now we know there was a Teotihuacan settlement at Tikal, and the warriors may have had assistance and inside knowledge, as well as support to take control. Maybe the people of the satellite settlement called for help and help came, or maybe it was a plan all along to take Tikal. We really don't know, but a very interesting picture is certainly emerging. The new 9 page paper is available and free to download, and I've placed a link in the description below. Excavations at the site are set to resume shortly, and a lot more finds are expected. I imagine in the coming months, we'll learn so much more about this unique and incredible ancient site. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.